G'day everyone and welcome back to our paranormal world. I'm sure you'll agree the past two years have been a bit average to say the least, with global pandemics, natural disasters and outbreaks of war. But a rock in Japan which is wrapped in legend suggests things might be due to get a little more awful with the release of an evil spirit into the world. Okay, so the history and cultural legends of Japan are enormously varied and colourful, but this particular legend has gained international attention in recent weeks because of its ill timing in 2022. The Sesho Seiki is a volcanic rock in the mountains of Nasu in the Tochigi Prefecture, and it's famous because it's said to kill anyone who comes in contact with it which is why it's named Seisho Seki, because that means the killing stone. The legend goes that the stone contains the spirit of Tamama no Mei, a beautiful woman believed to have been in the employ of an evil Japanese lord who hatched a plot to kill Emperor Toba during his reign in the early 12th century. Tamamo no Mei was revealed to be a nine-tailed fox, which is significant in Japanese folklore because foxes, or kitsune as they are known in Japanese, are believed to possess supernatural abilities, which increase as they get older and wiser. Interestingly, this folklore around foxes and their paranormal powers is spread throughout Japanese, Chinese, Korean and Indian culture, and in all of these legends, foxes have the ability to shapeshift into human form at will. In this sense though, foxes aren't considered necessarily evil in themselves. In fact, there are many stories of beneficent foxes, but they are very powerful, and the more powerful they become, the more tails they possess when in fox form. At the peak of their wisdom and power, a kitsune may have nine tails, and Tamamo no Mei was found to be a nine-tailed fox. So she was pretty badass, and according to legend, she'd been around for hundreds of years, causing chaos throughout China and India prior to her appearance in the form of Tamamo no Mei, the favoured courtesan of Emperor Toba. She was said to be very beautiful and very intelligent, and was identified as part of a plot to kill the emperor, who had become extremely ill. An astrologer who was consulted regarding the emperor's ailing health was the one to claim that she was a nine-tailed fox, and Tamamo no Mei fled, which is either an admission of guilt or a desperate attempt to avoid being punished for something you had nothing to do with. And I guess that depends on your perspective. Anyway, warriors were tasked with finding and killing her, and Miura no Suki did just that, although vanquishing a nine-tailed fox at the peak of its paranormal powers may seem like a fairly difficult task. The legend states he did indeed defeat her, at least to the point where she embedded her spirit in the volcanic stone Sesho Seiki, which was conveniently laying close by. The stone is said to have released poisonous gases which killed anyone who came too close or touched it, except geologists who must have some supernatural powers of their own. The legend persisted, probably due to the number of people dropping dead near the stone, and later the fox spirit was said to have been exorcised by a Buddhist monk in the 14th century. But who knows really, we're talking about a supernatural fox spirit who can store themselves in a rock. So when in March 2022 the stone split in two, Japanese social media went berserk with speculation that dark forces had been unleashed on the world in the form of Tamamo no Mei being free once again. Boring geologists who might be in the employ of Tamamo no Mei say that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. 
Yes, the Seisho's Seiki has split in two, but cracks had appeared in the stone in the years preceding the actual split, and they say it's likely this enabled water to penetrate and weaken it, eventually causing it to cleave in two. But we are still suspicious. This is 2022, and an evil fox spirit who is supernaturally intelligent and cunning like a, well, like a fox, being unleashed on the world just seems to fit the narrative, doesn't it? For your reference, if you were wondering, the way to identify a shape-shifting fox person is often through their physical features. They are said to have somewhat of a vulpine appearance and they really dislike dogs. Dogs hate them too, and we all know that someone whom dogs dislike is probably a pretty dodgy person anyway. The cracking of the killing stone in 2022 shouldn't really come as a surprise to any of us, but it does leave me wondering what might be next. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please take a second to do so and hit that bell icon, setting your notifications to all so that you can stay up to date with all of the paranormal content as it drops. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.